Hey there, Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. I create videos and content to inspire others. I'm hoping that my life's trials and tribulations will be of inspiration for you. But in addition to that, I like to tap into and talk about everyday events that's happening, especially those Cinderella stories. One that comes to mind for me is Lil Nas X. So today my video is about five ways to take a risk like Lil Nas X. Now everybody knows who he is, just in case you don't. He's a young gentleman from Atlanta, Georgia. He is a country, I guess you could say trap um, rap artist. And he bought a beat for $30 from a Dutch producer named Young Keo, put it on the TikTok app. Boom, Old Town Road took off. In addition to that, he wanted to collaborate with a country artist. Well, a lot of the country artists didn't want to touch it. You know how some of the artists, once they've blown up, have, have Grammys and all of these accolades, they don't want to collaborate with someone they think may embarrass them or I, I wouldn't even think it would take their career. But every now and again, artists, they do something that doesn't come out that good and they become embarrassed or you know, it's hard to get people to stop talking about it for a little while until something else takes its place. But hey, Billy Ray Cyrus, a guy in his late 50s, been around 30, 40 years in the music business. He loved it. He took a chance, 17 weeks in a row, number one, baby. I know what you're saying. I don't like that song. Like, I was looking at some other YouTube videos. They were like, oh, I don't like that song. That song is trash. Hey, listen, it's a sharp collaboration. I'm a little older, maybe I'm partial to it, but I love the Cinderella story. Anybody take 30 bucks and make it number one, um, that's to me, that's just awesome. And I was hoping that would inspire you. What is your $30 thing that you can do? What is it that you are looking to do? What is your niche? And this will be five ways that can help you. Number one, find your niche. What is it? With Lil Nas X, it was his music. Maybe you are a writer. Maybe you're a singer. Maybe you are a musician. Perhaps you want to be an entrepreneur. You, you know how to cook. You want to open your own restaurant. You want to sell real estate. What is your niche? Figure it out. Once you figure it out, you have to become laser focused on it. Don't let go. It's like a dog chewing on a bone. You cannot pull a piece of meat out of a pit bull's mouth. So you have to be like that with your dream. So that's number one. Number two, get you a mentor, someone who believes in you, someone that will hold you accountable. When you're supposed to be in that studio, when you're supposed to be working on your business plan and you're not, they'll say, hey, are you working on your music? And that will keep you inspired. Which brings me to number three, find someone that inspires you. For me, it's like Bruce Lee. I love reading quotes from Bruce Lee. I used to watch Bruce Lee movies. I like studying his diet. I'm just inspired by the late, great Bruce Lee because he was a small man in stature, but yet so strong and so fast. And to this day, people are still following Bruce Lee. Well, who is it for you? Get you that one person that inspires you. Study them. Study their quotes. Study what they did, their rituals. And that can help you. Which brings me to number Four, you want to always, always, always kill the doubt. The negative noise is going to get in your head and those doubtful comments will pop in. I don't have any money. I'm not smart enough. I'm not big enough. I'm not old enough. I'm too old. I'm this, I'm that. Soon as it starts, you have to replace it with something else. You cannot be successful when you have fear and doubt because it's going to cancel out what good you're trying to do. There is no lack of money. There is no lack of resources, abundance. This is a big universe full of money, energy. Money is energy. Every day, money is being printed. So you can get that out your head. That there's not enough money for you. And you don't want to focus only on money. Focus on your dream. The money will come. And I know my younger people are like, what is she talking about? Seriously, the money is going to come. But you have to stay focused. Visualize yourself in your studio. You could be at home on your couch. Visualize yourself in your studio. You could be at a crappy job. When I leave this job, I'm hitting my studio. When I leave this job, I'm going to my real estate class. You have to speak as if these things are already happening. Look at the greats like Rihanna. The young lady from Barbados. 
She didn't know she was going to be this big, but she knew she was going to make it. I could guarantee you she knew. It was no doubt in her mind that she didn't know she was going to take off because a lot of successful people, they see it before it actually comes to them. So you got to believe it. You got to own it, embody it, and act as though you already are. You know, if you want the fame or you already are successful, you are already flowing in what you really and truly want to do. And last but not least, once you do get on top, because you're going to get on top, make sure you reach out and grab somebody and grab them with you. And that's what it's all about, helping each other. When you've struggled to get to the top, you don't want to forget where you've come from. Reach your hand down and grab somebody. You know, maybe a younger person that really wants to get into real estate or music or whatever. And you remember you was watching this video. You remember Lil Nas X. And you can grab a hold of that and inspire them. So I'm hoping my five tips help you. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Drop me comments about some of your business ideas, some of the things you want to work on, your dreams. More importantly, your risk that you're going to take. A risk, that's what's going to get you to your next level. Even if you are slightly afraid, just do it. You will not regret it. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Join my channel, hit subscribe, and let's get into some dialogue about how taking a risk helped you or will help you. Help you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.